Hi guys, it's Lynn with Littlefoot Nursery, and I'm here with baby Melina. This is actually Melina, not Aria. I totally got mixed up the last time I did a video with Aria, thinking at first that she was Melina, and then I and then I realized, wait a minute, this is not Melina, this is Aria. So anyway, but this one is Melina, and I um, wanted to do a changing video with her um, to change her into this um, really adorable um, footless romper from Janie and Jack. It's pink with the Eiffel Tower on it. It's got like navy trim, kind of this cute white collar with um, navy trim as well. And she's the last of the quadruplets that I need to change before I can do a video with the four of them together. So anyway, check it out. <laughs> gonna look really cute and I wanted to um, talk about a topic started by pixie mommy reborns um, and I saw Wendy's video on this Wendy from weeby dolls as well as Inez from don't worry baby reborn collective um, talking about the pros and cons of larger versus smaller collections um, and I'm gonna just kind of wing it I don't I usually don't prepare what I'm gonna say before I hop on and start recording. I'm an extrovert and I like to just sort of process externally. So um, I'll just kind of chat a little bit. And I will say that um, for me, when I first started collecting Reborns um, back like 10 years ago, um, I first bought one Reborn. And I remember she was the Lotus Sculpt by Jacqueline Cassidy. And she's a really cute Asian baby. And oh my gosh, having, I just had that one baby for a while because I, um, I remember I named her Kylie Noel <laughs> and, um, and she was like my child basically because I didn't have kids at the time. Um, that was, you know, that was something that, uh, you know, you know, wasn't, uh, yeah, you know, we, we were fairly newly married and everything. I didn't have kids. And so I wanted, um, but I wanted kind of to have a little bit of that experience. And when I discovered Reborns and me being just a lifelong collector of dolls, I was like, I have, I want to, I really want one of these dolls and I will totally, I'd love to dress it and, you know, cuddle it and treat it like a real baby. Um, and so I remembered, um, I remembered doing that and, or sorry, buying, buying that one doll. And for a while I just had the one doll and, uh, all, all the clothing. She was just very spoiled. Um, she was the only doll I had in my collection. My husband was extremely freaked out <laughs> by how realistic she looked. And, um, and basically I, I didn't have her like out on display. So when I wasn't like handling her, I, um, kind of had her tucked away in a Moses basket and covered with a blanket. <laughs> so, and then, um, so I really loved that doll. Um, you know, but I didn't, there's something about the rooted hair was dark Brown instead of black. And, um, you know, so I, I really wanted to get another doll that had more like black rooted hair. And then I, um, so, and then I basically, uh, and, and back that this was before silicones were really, I, at least I didn't really know about silicones back then. So to me, reborns were just the ultimate and they were the only kind of the only high end um, doll option. If I had known about silicones, my wallet probably would have been in trouble. She has like a little hair here. I'm just trying to get that off. Okay. Um, so, so yeah, so I, I ended up getting a second doll. I, I bid on and won a, doll by Helen Jallen, believe it or not. <laughs> and my husband really did not like this baby. It was the Lee Hua sculpt by Sabia Bose, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and I have to, I have to admit, like when I got the doll home, um, I didn't love the sculpt as much as I thought I would. Um, and I, I don't know if it's like the Asian reborn scare my husband more. I'm not sure, but um, anyway, so I had, I bought that second doll and then I got, and then I later on ended up buying a third Lotus um, sculpt. And then that was it for a little while. And then, um, and then I went through a phase, then I kind of fell out, you know, I fell out of um, love with the hobby for a little while. I still had the dolls. So I had the three dolls. Um, for a little while and then um, later on I added a fourth and fifth doll and um, and then I and then my daughter was born and I was just like oh my gosh 
pretty much didn't have interest in my reborns at that point, you know, once she was born. But um, I was reading Dolphin at the time and just discovering silicones. And you know what? I'm kind of an ending up answering another video tagged by Pixie Mommy Reborns about evolution of doll collecting and how has our collecting sort of changed over time. So, um, so my apologies if this is a little bit all over the place. But anyway, I discovered silicones. And then um, I, you know, I, I didn't just buy a kind of a completed silicone. I just, I re I was just researching silicone artists. I wrote to a few of them whose work I admired. And um, I remembered I wrote to Romy Stridum even. <laughs> and she said she didn't do customs. So I was like, oh, okay. But then I emailed Andrea because I saw that she had done a custom of Oprah when Oprah was a child. And I was like, and by the way, guys, I've been pronouncing Andrea's last name incorrectly this whole time, I just realized. And this is the Molina um, sculpt, and she is a custom um, portrait doll of my daughter, Audrey, when she was a baby. It's actually Andrea Arcello is the correct way. And a lot of you guys have been saying it the correct way. I, I, I think I might have started saying Arcello, and then I... Um, switched and I changed it to and then I started saying Arcello <laughs> for some reason oh my gosh look how cute she looks you guys this is such a sweet outfit on her I love it on her oh it's just beautiful okay so now that I'm done changing her I can just focus on talking <laughs> all right so um so then we got the portrait babies done of Audrey and um and actually it took me three years before I got the portrait babies home and um and then I kind of had put my whole reborn hobby aside at that point. I had like the four or five dolls at that point. And so the collection was small for a really long time. And, um, and I think it's really like about like a little over a year ago, um, or maybe it was like a year, it was like a year and a half ago that I started rediscovering the hobby. Cause basically after I got the two silicone dolls, um, we got rid of all my reborns cause my husband was like, it feels like we have too many now and you know now that you have these dolls which are obviously like the ultimate because you know what better doll can you have than a portrait of your own child uh, you know I got rid of all my my original reborns and looking back I wish I had kept them but oh well it's you know sometimes um, there can be that feeling of haste when you get something new and you're like okay I just want to get rid of the older dolls that I have um, so that's what happened at the time and then um yeah and then when i rediscovered this hobby and also i think i do think youtube is very dangerous <laughs> in the sense that you know you it's like you're it's kind of like when you're constantly exposed to new dolls and when and also being on facebook and seeing like all the and being friends with all these artists now and seeing all the amazing dolls that they are they have posted you may not even be in the market for a new doll and then boom all of a sudden you find yourself like buying another doll so but anyway, you know, all the videos I watched made so many great points. I won't repeat all of them here, but I think in essence, the, generally speaking, the benefits of a smaller collection, first of all, it takes up less space, you're spending less money, um, and, you, and, and less money all around, not just for the dolls themselves, but for all their clothing and accessories. And then it enables you to really, I think, um, it's more realistic because most people don't have 20 babies. I don't know anyone who has 20 babies in their home for real. <laughs> so it is like more realistic that, you know, you might have, you know, one, two, three babies, um, for example, um, and, or maybe a fourth and fifth. Uh, you know, I think a lot of people feel like, you know, maybe, a, you know, four or five babies is like the sweet spot. That's like a great number to get to. But I think the problem, and I think the challenge I know for me and for a lot of people is it's really hard to let go of dolls. Like even if there's one that you're not spending as much time with, like you, you, you still, if you still like the doll and you don't have to sell it, why not keep it? So that's been sort of my, um, <laughs> that, that's kind of what, what's happened to me because, um, you know, and then like, a, and then in terms of my silicone collection, you know, I added, um, like, I added so many silicones this past year. Obviously, Baby Lynn and Elia, Melina um, and Olivia, and then my Sandy Faber, my Millie, who you guys just saw, and uh, my Gabigail, who is my Noah. And then I added, uh, is that it? I think that might be it. So I added, but I added six, six dolls, you know, this past year. Um, and I'm expecting Eleanor. So it's like, 
Um, it, oh, Maggie. I forgot about Maggie. Oh, my goodness. So I added seven dolls, and then I have Maggie <laughs> who's coming. And granted, like, these, um, you know, I got, I, you know, these, these dolls were good, you know, well-priced, um, especially the ones I got for second hand. Um, but still it, it's, it's a lot of money tied up in dolls and I, and I sometimes do feel like, you know, I should try to thin down my collection just to not have so much tied up in these dolls. But, but then I feel like it's really hard to let them go. Um, and then it just, and so I definitely see the benefits of a small collection. Like I envy the people who can have the discipline to just stick to a few dolls and be content and not be constantly looking or buying new dolls. But um, I think I, I think what ha ends up happening is we, we encounter dolls, you know, whether it be on Facebook or doll fan or eBay and then all this or, or YouTube, because a lot of us sell on YouTube and then you just fall in love. And it's like, you know, regardless of how large your collection is, it's like, you just have to have it. And so I know that that's what happens to me at least. Um, but I do think there's a lot of benefits to small collections. Now with larger collections, one of the things I really like is um, the variety. Cause some, one day I may feel like interacting with a reborn and just um, having fun dressing a reborn or holding a reborn. And the reborns are less expensive. They're not quite as valuable. So it's a little bit less of a stress, less stressful experience um, to handle my reborns. Um, and then other times I really like just want to hold my silicone babies and they, they are the most, um, they're the most realistic um, to me, you know, in terms of the feel, especially my full body babies. Um, I just absolutely love them. And, um, and it's just so neat for me too, whenever I see like, especially Melina, um, she's the one out of the four dolls who looks the most like Audrey. She's the spitting image of Audrey when Audrey was a baby. This is exactly what she looked like sleeping. Um, and it just reminds me of that precious time, you know? Um, so, and, and I also like my Ashton Drake's too. Like I have a couple silicones from Ashton Drake's. The, the Paradise Galleries dolls really belong to Audrey, um, but I do sometimes like to play with them as well. And they're fun to kind of take along um, on car outings, you know, because I don't have to worry about them as much, like something happening to them, you know, because they, they aren't as expensive. And so, so I feel like those can be sort of my, you know, play dolls, if you will. Um, so, so yeah, I, um, I basically, those, those are just some of my thoughts. And I think with the larger collections, yeah, just having that variety is nice and just getting to look at different faces. Um, and sometimes, and I'm definitely someone who like, likes a lot of variety, like in my wardrobe, I like to eat a variety of foods. Um, I just enjoy new experiences. And, and so I, having a larger collection does suit me. I don't think I could ever get down to like four or five dolls, it would be really, really tough. Um, mainly because I, I just wouldn't know. I mean, there are, you know, it's interesting. There are a few dolls in my collection where I'm just like, yes, this is a forever baby. I don't see this baby ever leaving the nursery. And then there are a few dolls where I look at them and I think, okay, well, I definitely want to keep them for a long time, but I could see myself possibly selling that doll down the road. Um, there are a few dolls where, okay, it's like a maybe I might sell them. And then there have been some where, I was like waffling or on the fence about whether I wanted to keep her cell, like Maddie, for example. And I'm so glad that Maddie, that Annie um, adopted Maddie and she has a great new home. So, um, but yeah, I, I, I like, I enjoy large collections. I think the hard thing is just the space and the storage. And we live in a small house. Our house is only a thousand square feet. Um, we have a garage, which is partially taken over by all of my reborning supplies. And I mostly like keep the silicone babies, um, you know, kind of wrapped up in blankets. They're in bassinet bags or Moses baskets. You know, they're, most of them are in the closet, except I have one Moses basket where I have one doll, um, and I'll kind of rotate which doll, but Maggie tends to be the doll who seems to be in that basket a lot. And then I have, um, Elia sleeping in baby Lynn's like little tiny crib. <laughs> um, so, you know, but most of, most of the time the dolls are, are put away. So, um, anyway, guys, I, um, I don't think I really, in, you know, shared anything new that wasn't shared in those other videos about large versus small collections. There's definitely like pros and cons to both. Um, 
But, you know, I think I would say, too, that if you have a larger collection, but your babies tend to be all the same size, that's actually kind of nice because then they can really share clothes. Um, so, so it's nice to have, like, if you know you have a bunch of babies that wear zero to three month size girl clothing, like, um, like Melina does, like you can buy that. And then at one point I had two boys in the nursery when I had Connor and then, um, my Noah as well. They wear three to six month size boys. Maisie's a tough one for me to shop for because she wears three to six month size girls, um, but she's the only one. So whenever I buy an outfit of that size, I have to buy it for her specifically. Um, and then I have uh, quite a few newborn size um, girl reborns. And so, so it's kind of nice that there, there's kind of a, like groups of dolls that can share the same size clothing. And that makes it a little bit more efficient and economical as well if you feel like you can buy an outfit and have multiple dolls wear it. So, all right, guys. Well, Melina's going to say bye to you all. Um, thank you so much for joining and for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. And I will talk to you all later. Bye.